Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are in Frisco, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Frisco, Texas. My first time in Texas and it is hot and I like it a lot. And we're outside Kenny's Burger Joint here to do their El Jefe Burger Challenge, which is about a seven-ish pound burger. Randy Santel just did this two days ago. Yes, today is July 1st. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Here with my good friend, Miss Raina Huang, as Randy says, and Mr. Blaine. So, we're gonna have one hour, I believe it is, to eat this seven pound burger. Don't know if there's a record or anything, and I believe, believe, if we beat it, we get a hundred dollar gift card in the burger for free. So we'll double check that. We're gonna head on in, should be good. That's it, let's eat. Everything's bigger in Texas, and it's a good way to start. Cool. All right, everybody, so here we are with the challenges. So three pounds of beef, massive buns, it's like, well, Texas toast buns, probably like two pounds of bread, jalapenos, we got bacon, of course my favorite ketchup, I see bacon, I don't know if I said that, lettuce, tomato, onions. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff, but it looks really good. Yeah, I can smell the jalapenos, very spicy. So one hour, $100 gift card, free, and t-shirt if we beat it. So let's see if we can take down the boss, El Jefe. Here, of course, with Miss Reyna. Reyna, looks good, eh? Yes. Ready to eat? I my hair. Yeah, put my hair up too. <laughs> Perfect. We've got our lovely lady and timer here. Staff is excellent, by the way. So uh, the record for this location is about 28 minutes by Randy Santel. Not saying we're doing records, but just for your information. So that, Raina, want to just count down? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Enjoy. That is a lot of bread. You're right. Wow. Let's find a burger in the thing. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Kenny's in Frisco, Texas. So, super cool. This was my first day in Texas and I was very, very excited. Although I will admit, both me and Raina were absolutely exhausted. Mr. Blaine too. So Raina had just arrived in Texas driving from California and me and Blaine had been flying uh, like basically all morning and or we were up super early and didn't sleep the night before. So to make a long story short, we were both absolutely exhausted for this challenge. We were like, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do this, but let's just dig in, let's have some fun. And so let me now tell you about this very, 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 very delicious burger challenge. Got my burgers cooked medium, and they're definitely cooked perfectly. Oh, and there's chili on this and queso cheese. There's a lot of stuff on it. And there really was. So there were so many ingredients on this burger that I didn't even know of. So you had chili, you had french fries, you had like nacho cheese, you had the beef patties, you had onions, pickles, jalapenos, all the toppings and that. Um, you had to choose the sauce and went with ketchup, so did Reina. You can do like mayonnaise or mustard or whatever you want, but of course, I like ketchup. It's so saucy. Very moist. That bottom one's gonna be like very soft. Yes. So yes, this was a seven pound burger challenge, so don't take me wrong when I say that this thing was very easy to eat. Just all the sauces, all the chili and everything was just made the burger absolutely very, very moist. So a super easy burger challenge to eat. Everything was super fresh. The, uh, the breads or the buns were super soft as well. And especially after they've been soaking in that chili and that cheese and in that delicious burger juice. Try to spread the beef out. Cool off a bit. We let the burgers cool off a little bit before we start it, but probably not enough as you can see steam still very much rising from all the beef and stuff. But like I said, just very delicious. But of course, when you have all those different layers of items and sauces and chilies, it really uh, incubates the heat in there. Um, but overall, like I said, super delicious burger. The staff were absolutely phenomenal at this place. Uh, the lady was telling us that she worked there for 11 years and she's never seen anybody complete it. As you saw on the wall, um, there had only been six previously, and then with Randy turned seven, winners out of like 200 and some attempts. So a very, very, very low success rate. And of course, we were hoping to make that an eighth winner and a ninth winner. And the funny thing is they had so many losers that their wall of shame actually turned into the whole hallway leading to the bathroom. So you can make a lot of jokes about that. Um, but I'll just, you know, not use that kind of toilet talk, so they say, and I'll let you use your own imagination of what kind of situation that is. Do you like beef? Yeah. I got rid of all the bacon and all the I 
burger. There were jalapenos on this burger, however, they weren't anything substantial. It was only a, like a, maybe a small handful, and it didn't like add any difficulty to the challenge. They weren't, you know, it wasn't so many of them that they were you're getting sick or nauseous from them or anything. So, you know, it was just a small addition. It wasn't too big of a deal. Uh, I started off this burger challenge very, very, very casually, just ate it very casually. Um, really, that's kind of how we felt. Like I said, we we're actually both absolutely exhausted and a little worried about you know functioning on such little sleep I'll say that but I think that's pretty much uh, the majority of the information I had to share about the challenge again super easy to eat uh, very delicious um, no issues with that this is a burger challenge that I would try to attempt again so I'll let you tune in hopefully me and Reina can become again the eighth and ninth winner out of like 200 and whatever attempts but of course we'll have to tune in see what happens and uh, well, at that, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. Also, shout out Texas. Texas is freaking awesome. So, woohoo, go Texas. Very moist, very juicy. Mm. Mostly just the bumps left for me. Brandon's killing it as well. There's a lot of jalapenos there. Now the tough part. <laughs> the bread. The bun. Texas toast. Mm -hmm. And it's grilled. It's crispy. about 8 minutes, 20 seconds in, doing really well. Rain is basically onto the bread. I'm onto the bread. Not too bad. Awesome. Only 52 minutes left. Thank you. I mean, I just did it when they took a bite, so, yeah. yeah. All right, so I just finished up that challenge. I believe that is a new record. It kind of sped up at the end because I was like, I guess it's actually pretty close. So I believe the old record at the other location was about 12 minutes. So we just did that in just under 11. So I think that's a new record between the two locations and definitely a record for here. Raina's absolutely killing it. She's down to like maybe a quarter left, basically just this top bun and like a little handful of food there, which she's finishing up now. Super delicious, very much enjoyed it. Nice to have that chili on there, gave a lot of like moisture. So we're just gonna tune in, Raina finishes and crushes this challenge. Excuse me. Let's see what happens. Keep going, girl. Good, good. Got lots of time. Some bun, yeah, plenty of time.
sorry. No, you're good, man. <laughs> Speechless. Yeah. He's getting something. I got a I need this to come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you do that allows you to do this? Eat a lot. Get used to eating a lot. Just like if you want to use to like be able to run a marathon, you gotta run a lot. Same thing. So when you're halfway through and you're just... it's then it's mind like, over matter. You, know? you ever feel like physically? Oh yeah. There's times where my, I'm so distended I can't, I can't even stand up straight. Yeah. I look like a pregnant woman. Well, what? What? <laughs> Go have a glass. Go to sleep. <laughs> Not for a day. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Ice. Ice. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I get a glass of just ice, please? Thanks very much. Action. Do you need like immediately? No, oh, that's I'm right. okay. I you, do you have some dessert? It sounds fun. Uh -huh. You do? What do you have? We've got uh, cheesecake, okay. peanut butter pie. Oh, wow. It's honey homemade recipe and it's a peanut butter cream cheese okay. uh, with a nut butter crust and a chocolate ganache. Okay. It's really good. It's made at a local a local uh, a local tea no shop warning, actually that y'all should visit while you're here. It's very close to the place where you're doing the pizza. Yeah. He has like 50 different teas. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. And they make pies. <laughs> and he makes pies. He does like a cheesecake stuffed pretzel. Yeah. That's really good. That's crazy. Yeah. It's so a cheesecake peanut butter pie. So we're like less than 20 minutes in, or almost 20 minutes in, and Raina is literally like a couple bites left. She's absolutely killing it. She's actually going to be Randy Santel's time here. So, doing well, excellent, I'm on track. I do like it. <laughs> exactly. Let me know if you want that. Does it matter where? Neck and arm. 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 It's funny, I was laughing. I was like, it's funny Randy mentioned we were coming by. Yeah, he did. Well, people were like yelling out and like asking about you guys. And then that's when I went, I went, wait, somebody named Joel called me said they were coming to Wednesday. But I mean, like I said, in all my years of working uh, here, I've never seen one finish. And now two in a week? And you got three? Three, three, yeah, three in a week, yeah. I, we're having people run through here. Those are some of these places are going to be at Randy did the chops. They're going to be like, why all of a sudden? I know. For those of you wondering what I'm doing, no, I'm not rubbing Raina's back. Um, she asked me to ice her. So basically, when you're feeling really nauseous and you feel like you're going to throw up, if you apply ice or something else to kind of shock your system in a sensitive area, such as like on your back or your armpit, it kind of helps eliminate a little bit of the nausea. So that's what's going on. No, I'm not just rubbing her back precariously. She just simply wanted me to ice her. Literally, basically, the last bite. Raina's killing it. And she's even beating Randy Santel. Not that we tried to, but it just coincidentally you know. happened. Mm -hmm.
finished. Yeah, woo! So just over 25 minutes, Rena just killed it. She's feeling really good, I think. But good job, Rena. You did it, you did it. That was a big one. So with that, everybody, huge thanks over here at Kenny's. Really good food, I actually very much enjoyed that burger. Might have to try a couple more items, we'll keep you updated. But with that, I think we're both due for a nap. Absolutely delicious. And of course, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. You know what to do, don't do what we do. And Texas, y'all. Bye. And here's their uh, peanut butter pie made locally with a butter finger crust, apparently. Oh, that's thick. Thick? That's rich. Wayne has a piece here, too. Yeah. Pop in front Yeah, he, sometimes these peanut butter pies are like dense. That, yeah, yeah. This very looks dense. pretty dense, so I, I, you know, I like peanut butter. I love it. I'll try it on camera. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. All right, guys. This is dense, man. Look at that. Peanut butter pie. Holy cow. Mm. Yeah, that is so uh, good. That is rich. Yeah. I've heard peanut butter pie is like basically just peanut butter <laughs> whipped cream. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's the really good. Pie? Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. Thanks so much. Wow. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is, yeah, that is like some dense, that is thick, dense flavor. That is really good, though. Yeah. That was super awesome, though. We both got one hundred dollar gift cards, which we can use at every Kenny's restaurant uh, uh, location. Yeah. So we can use it at the burger joint. We can use it at the pizza place, and also they have a rib place. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Also check out Joel. He is an absolute monster. He has two pieces of pie, actually. Oh, check it out. <laughs> it's good. What, what can I say? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, this is good. It's super sweet, but it's very delicious. And yes, me and Raina both, we got $100 gift cards, so that's super cool. I'm blowing mine, but it's all right. I'll enjoy the pie. I like that. Dude. That is good. That's not calorie-free. I'm gonna have to skimp on some desserts the rest of this week, that's for sure. Woo! That looks like a milkshake would be really good. That's thick, bro. Yeah. Several seeds. For sure. Chocolate. Delicious. Delicious. And here's our receipt. Total is about fifteen or sixteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred dollar charge for pain and suffering, no big deal. So yeah, only sixteen hundred dollars today. <laughs>
There's that thing. It was, it, was, it was enjoyable. <laughs> there definitely is a few happy people around uh, Dallas. Yeah. And here we have Thanksgiving Square. <clears throat> it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. So it looks like it is a thank you square. And I'll show you what it looks like down here. It looks really cool. Here's a great big waterfall fountain. Here we got some doves. Hello, doves. Very neatly kept grass. There, that's cool. There's the fountain. That's very pretty. I like that. Some kind of a weird tourney building. That's a cool looking building. Look at that. Look at the pattern on that. I don't even know what that is, but there's no windows on that side of it. Historic exhibits. That thing, the big fountain. And then come into his courts with praise. Thanksgiving Square. So, I mean, right now everything's closed, but normally there's, looks like an information section here, and then you have another waterfall. But this is, this is very pretty, actually. I'm impressed that this is just right downtown. Chocolate, dude, sweet. And then here we have the world's biggest eyeball. It's like the, what do they call it? The all-seeing eye. Lord of the Rings reference. Yeah, man, that, but like, look at the detail on that. That's impressive. That's like, looks like a, like a bowling ball material and you have that like detailed spread of colors. Oh, that giant eyeball definitely lived up to its name. That is absolutely massive. Another view of the absolutely giant eyeball, which unfor unfortunately people have drawn graffiti on and wrote in swear words. So I don't know why you'd want to do that on a big eyeball, but it definitely saw what they were doing. Get it? <laughs> and again, the giant eyeball from a different angle. And just to give you perspective, this doesn't do it justice. This thing's massive. What do you think it is? 40 feet tall? Yeah. Yeah. 30, 40 feet at least. Yeah. This is really cool. Didn't know Dallas has such a big eyeball. Got big eyes, but it's a one. It's a big one. It's a big, big beauty. Big beauty here in Dallas. And here is, I forget what it's called. Some kind of plaza, some something. They have this big loop. It's pretty cool. Then there's some like teeter-totter things over there. Some green space. We have a Blaine. <laughs> And then there's uh, trees and more green space. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And here we are in some kind of park downtown. They got some play place stuff and again more green space and look it's this park. Yeah, this is, uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's quite a bit of kept green spaces down here. So I kind of met a friend. I don't know, she's not looking very well today though. Uh, you all right, ma'am? Can I be of any assistance? Hopefully she'll be okay. Some more fountains. I love my downtown Dallas. Um, Lots of, actually some really nice architecture down here. I guess you can't see them now. There's some more like lady statues down there. It's uh, some definitely some older buildings. Lots of tall buildings. 